Nice. Nice, fish on. Nice creek, Smalley. Yes, sir. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, super excited for today. We're actually out here um, in the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, not, not actually in the National Park, but kind of uh, on, the, on the edges of it. Um, we're on Citigo Creek here. Uh, we're gonna be doing some wading. Um, hopefully I can catch some bass, maybe trout. I don't even care. Literally anything that bites I'm gonna be happy with. Um, I've got my wife and daughter here as well. Uh, they're gonna be doing some, I guess, geode hunting and just uh, having fun playing in the creek. So. Super excited for this video. Um, I have something new that I'm going to be trying as well, something I've never used before that I'm going to show you guys right here that I picked up at Walmart uh, the last time I was over there. And uh, yeah, either way, super pumped and hopefully we can uh, get into some fish. Let's get to it. So I picked up this little uh, multi-species lure five-piece kit while I was at Walmart the other day. Um, and really what I'm interested in is these guys right here, um, the grasshopper crankbait and the crawdad crankbait. I've actually never used anything like this before. So these I'm probably gonna leave behind just because they're pretty big and I don't think these are gonna be well, doing well for the creek, but I'm definitely gonna bring these three and uh, give these a try, probably the grasshopper first, just see if we can't get in any fish with those. I know it's summertime, so it's probably, you know, the right season for these. And like I said, I've never used it before, so pretty excited to be uh, doing that. Look at her, she's down there like collecting spider webs or something. Very wand. <laughs> Man, this is awesome, y'all. Such a beautiful place to be. Stoked to be out here. I don't even care if I don't catch anything. This is gonna be a fun time. Whoa, look at this rock right here. Hold on. Y'all, look at this rock I just found. That is so sick. I'm taking that home with me. Oh, look at that little smallie right there. Where'd he go? I'm like watching a bunch of them like look at it, but then they're not biting it. I think I'm gonna switch colors because they're inspecting it, but they're not biting it. All right, y'all, so I switched up. There was a ton of little, there's a ton of little smallmouth. Um, they're like, I'm watching them like peck at it, but they're not committing. So I switched up to a little bit of a more natural color that hopefully they'll actually be willing to commit to. Nice. Nice. Fish on. Nice creek smallie. Yes, sir. Perfect hook set. Look at this creek smallie, y'all. First fish of the trip. It's going to be a good day. I can already feel it. Let's get a release on this little guy. Whoa. All these little guys are swiping at this thing. It's so funny. And it's so nice out here. It's cool. It's probably like mid 80s, low humidity. Oh, fish on. Yes, sir. Oh, he jumped off. It's a little little baby bass. He fell off right at the thing. 
right at the edge. I think that's him right there running. Oh man, I had another one. I don't know, that kind of looked like a trout. It was like white. There we go. What is this? Oh my goodness, a sunfish. That's a pretty guy too, ain't he? Real pretty sunfish. Oop. Third fish, yes sir, here we go, what do we got? All right, well that poor little guy, I hope he survives, but I messed his jaw up pretty bad. It's just like I hooked it right through the bone somehow, and I feel really bad about it, but I think he'll be okay. He did swim off, so. So from what I know of creek fishing like this, I've actually, this will be my first time really fishing a creek like this. Um, you know, I fished that one creek that y'all seen in the video, um, but, well actually that's not true, I deleted that video, so, so I guess y'all didn't actually see that. I weighed, I weighed fished a creek there, um, but this is really my first time like getting in here, but from what I understand, you know, like bass and trout, they like to hide behind cover. So like rocks and in the deeper pools. So what I'm doing is I'm just tossing this little paddle tail, two inch paddle tail. Kind of replicates the little minnows and uh, little mini bait fish that are in here. And I'm just trying to toss that. I'm standing in the shallow side and it's a little bit deeper on this other side. So I'm kind of tossing over into the current and letting it float. Um, and I've already got those three fish so far so oh, just had a little tap right there a little tap tap notice a bunch of these little guys are tapping in um, and you know obviously they're not gonna be able to bite this thing unless they absolutely freaking swallow it but let's see if there's anything in this little hole right here under the rock nope kind of looks like there's a little like gap in the rocks right there. I wonder if there's anything hiding in it. The current is so fast. All right. Let's push on up here, see if we can't get to a deeper hole. Oh, just got snagged in the dang rock right there. Luckily, creek fishing. You can just walk right up to the rock and get your shit out. <laughs> That's the good part about it. Oh yeah, it's looking good up here. Looking fishy, nice and calm. That's gonna be fish central. Fish on. Yes sir. Little bass? Yep. Nice smoked that thing too didn't he sure did thanks for biting buddy nice little smallie let's get him back over there another fish another smallie oh this is awesome settle down bro wow look at the colors on this guy he's beautiful i don't know if y'all can see that or not but Y'all, it is so nice out here. I'm just sitting here listening. You hear that? That's right, you don't hear anything. It's so peaceful. It's so nice out here, man. I'm gonna have to start coming out here more often. It's a little bit of a haul from Knoxville. It's about an hour and a half to get here, but 
man, it's well worth it. I've, I've been putting it off, honestly, because I just didn't want to make the drive. But honestly, now that I'm out here and experiencing this, like, I'm just I'm speechless, man. It's so awesome. I'm gonna cast back over there. My camera wasn't even on a second ago and I had caught a fish. Oh, that water feels so good. It's, it's hot, but the water is really cold. It feels so nice. Fish on. Yes, sir. Another creek smolly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I want their daddy to come out. Or mommy. I know they're in here. I literally see a bigger one right over there under that rock. Yeah, he was chasing it, but he didn't want it. That's all right, we'll leave him alone for now. Fish on. Oh, new species? Yes, sir, rock bass, nice. Open up, buddy. Look at that little rock bass. Ain't he a cutie? Fish on. Man, I'm on a school of them, I guess. Oh, fish off. Oh my God, I have a fish on, wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had a fish on. I was just trying to reel it over the rock. I thought I was hem hemmed up. That's hilarious. Ooh. Oh, snagged. There we go. I need to come back here one day with my fly rod. I suck with the fly rod so bad, but this is such an open area. I might actually be able to get some fish on it. Maybe with a little woolly burger. Burger. <laughs> a little woolly McDouble. What the hell? No, uh, like a woolly burger or um, I have some like streamers, some like little small streamers. And I tie flies too, just for fun. I'm not great, but I do it for fun. And um, oh, I see. Ooh, what is that? Is that a trout? Wow, they done bit the tail off of my paddle tail. Dang, that's no good. Might have to switch up. You know what, I'm going to anyway, cause get out of here. I need a drink of water, so I'm gonna take my bag off and I'm gonna switch plastics. I've already caught quite a bit of fish. Oh, fish on. Wow. Nice, nice. Nice little smolly. Thank you, sir. All right, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and switch up to one of those little crankbaits. 
and I'm going to go ahead and start making my way back and we'll cast with that on the way. I don't know how I feel about this little this crawfish uh, crankbait. I mean, it was getting a follow just now. I watched a little a little bass follow it, but it could have been just because of all the noise it was making. Fish on. Bigger fish too. Yes, sir. Here we go. Nice. Nice small mouth. I bet that's that bigger one that I saw here earlier. Hold still, bub. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I had a freaking blast, man. We caught a ton of bass. Um, you know, no trout, but that's okay. I wasn't on a mission to catch anything specific. Um, I caught a rock bass, uh, a little red breast or pumpkin seed or something. I don't really know. I'll have to look it up and see exactly what species it was. And a bunch of little smallmouth. Had a freaking blast. I know the girls had a good time. I'm exhausted. I just finally made it back. I didn't even wade that far, but you know, anybody that's waded in creeks, you know, it's it's a lot of work, you know, getting over rocks and stuff like that, falling and everything else. So um, I'm ready to get back in the truck, get some water and uh, get in the air conditioning. But overall, it was a freaking good day. Uh, super excited to be out here. Just want to again say it. If you guys like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I've got videos coming out every single Sunday and you don't want to miss them. I'm going to have a lot of good stuff coming out. I've got some big plans for the end of this year uh, doing some out of state trips. So Make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.